most of these videos start like this, so I feel like I'm obligated to do this. This video has taken over multiple days and you'll see why in a second, but today I am going to put together and fully use my Fully Jarvis Frame Desk. I think that's the complete name. Or is it just a Jarvis Desk? The Fully Desk? I'm using a desk. A new desk. A sit-stand desk. Yeah. If you notice in my last couple of videos, I had a desk sort of, but then it didn't really work out. And then we ended up moving, and now I have this right here, which is my makeshift desk until this desk came in. It's just like a bar height table. It's not anything special. Even if I try to sit, you're kind of like really low, like this low. So that's one reason I'm getting a sit stand desk, because I just want to stand up sometimes and work at the same time. Um, I also still need to get a chair um, and we're still moving stuff around here, so that's why everything's still kind of all over the place as we still clean up. The last piece is finally here. Okay, I think I got it good to go. Let's try, let's, let's give it a try, I'm so excited. Ah, uh, oh yeah. Okay, I got it set up, at least the handset or whatever. However, the only thing that I find is kind of annoying, and it's not necessarily Fooly's fault, um, it might be FedEx's fault, because me being me, I always get FedEx. If you look closely right here, let's see if I can get it to focus. Right here, you see that little mark there? That, that wasn't even me, I was being super careful with this desktop. And you know, I didn't really notice it until we flipped the table over and it's kind of a bummer. I'm kind of disappointed in, I'm gonna blame FedEx cause I mean, they probably just throw my packages around, but hey, I'm just sad. It's very sad. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna finish setting up everything and then I'm gonna to toss it to the future rally who's gonna be like a week, maybe two weeks from now to tell you his full experience with the desk so far. This is actually almost a month after I made that video, but that just means that I get to explain to you my experience with it so far after using it for almost 30 days a month. I think it's actually like 27 days. But short story is I love it. Before I further explain why I like this desk so much, I'm gonna break it down into five different categories. The first category is gonna be about how often I use the standing configuration. I personally wanted to just invest in standing because I get, I get tired of sitting and I know that standing throughout the day, um, just switching up your position can help out with um, your lower back pain and just health benefits, all the health benefits that you hear about standing and switching up your body posture throughout the day. If I had to guess, I probably switch from the sit stand position maybe about five to six times a day. And if I had to guess, I probably went about 65 or 70% standing and 30 to 35% sitting throughout an average day. Another great reason of why I love this desk so much is because I was able to customize it right when I wanted to order it. Now, if you look at the Fully website, you can customize any kind of desk that you want. I got the Jarvis laminate standing desk. And for the desktop, I got a black finish and my top size was 42 by 27, which is an extra $20. Didn't get any grommet power, but I did get the clamp mounted surge protection which I got that in the black color as well. As you can see, I'm going with a black theme for this. For the desk frame, I got the three stage frame, which is the most popular probably because it has that wide range of 25.6 inches to 51.1 inches in height. I got the programmable memory wheels or the desk casters, and I might actually try to look into changing those later just so I can add a little bit more height. But as you saw earlier in this video, I was rolling the desk just fine across the carpet that I have in this room. And next we're gonna switch over to price. Now, all of that that I customized how I wanted that desk, that came to a total of $671.35. And I say all that because, I mean, this isn't just something that you can just throw money at and be like, okay, I got a desk, whatever. This is, to me, an investment that I was willing to make um, just because I knew that I would enjoy the standing uh, function of it and just having that option to sit or stand throughout the day and I knew that I was in the market for a desk and I wanted something that I knew it would last a long time or that I could see lasting a long time which transitions us right into the quality durability and the noise level now I'll just go ahead and talk about the noise when you do raise and lower it, it does make a noise but to me it's not that big of a deal and if you're using a programmable memory buttons or options it doesn't take that long to get to the, the programs heights that you have so to me it's not that big of a deal quality the the type tabletop was great other than that little mishap but they did hook me up they uh, I talked to the customer service and we got a good thing so 
I'm satisfied with that. Customer service is good. And durability, this thing is heavy, um, and that's a good thing, because I like stability. Obviously, when you get it to the highest height, and because it is top heavy, it wiggles just a tad, but I kind of expected that. And I think, as you like, it held me as I was lifting myself up in the beginning of this video, and I think the weight capacity is 300, maybe 350 um, pounds, that is. And so it, it can hold a lot of things. And because it can hold a lot of things, I plan on adding a lot more to it. And that's gonna bring us to our last category, which is the future plans that I have with it. First and foremost, this is the most important because it is driving me insane almost every day, is cable management. I know it is terrible. I am sorry that you had to place your eyes on the horrible mess that my cables are currently <laughs> in right now. I'm gonna clean up the cables a little bit. I'm gonna add a monitor arm that Fully has um, from their website. So I'm gonna add a monitor and I plan on getting two monitors to have set up. I'm gonna have a mic arm so I can add a microphone. I'm gonna mount like my Mac mini under the desk. I'm gonna mount a power strip under the desk. I just have all these ideas that I'm gonna do. So I might actually make a video when I complete that setup or what I find is complete. I feel like I'm gonna get to a certain point where I'm like, oh, this is great and then, you know, a month later, two months, three months, whatever, I'm gonna be like, let's change it. And those are the five categories, and now I'm gonna switch it to yet another rally. I, I've recorded this video over so many different days, which is why I have on so many different shirts. So that is the first episode of my studio build. Um, thank you for watching. Don't forget to thumbs up bell, and I hope you consider getting a sit-stand desk because I found them to be very useful after using one for a month. Maybe I'll do one like six months in, a year, I don't know, but we'll see. Thank you for watching this video and um, have a good day.